UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says he has been following the concern with concern the developments in the Russian Federation after the short-lived internal revolt by the Warner Group on Saturday. The group briefly took over Russian military headquarters in Rostov on Don. This was before a retreat was broken by the president of Belarus, Alexander um, Lukashenko. Russia's Prime Minister, meanwhile, says that the country had faced a challenge to its stability and must maintain united behind uh, President Vladimir Putin. At a deal late on Saturday that defused the crisis and averted possible bloodshed, the Kremlin said the Warner Group mercenaries would return to base whilst their leader would move to Belarus. All criminal charges against him and his fighters would also be dropped. Now, the White House is discussing the situation with allies, including France, the UK, even Germany and Canada. In interviews with local media, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken described the weekend's events as extraordinary, pointing to cracks emerging in Russia's facade and warning that this was an unfolding story in which the world had yet to see the last act. Our correspondent John Beaver is more for us now from Helsinki, Finland. John, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Perhaps uh, we can get reactions coming through this Monday. We understand Moscow, there's a non-working day to obviously set, um, help things settle. What, what's also been the reaction from NATO and the EU at large? Yeah, absolutely. As you say, things in Russia, they are very much trying to present that things are back to normal in Russia, that actually this was a minor blip and nothing to be concerned about. That very much uh, is the message coming out of Moscow. The rest of the world, though, not so convinced. A lot of people questioning Vladimir Putin's uh, grip, the authority that he has after more than two decades of we all thought near absolute control. It does appear that this is a very serious threat to that. NATO and the neighbours such as Finland, where I am now, that has uh, a, a border of more than 800 miles that it shares with Russia. Of course, neighbouring countries are very concerned by what was happening uh, in uh, Russia, not only, of course, because Russia is a major nuclear superpower, but of as well because there is always a fear that instability will end up uh, people having to come across the borders. Um, so though people were getting braced for that on the countries that have Russia as an eastern neighbour, but NATO have say that they are monitoring the situation, uh, that they are keeping a close eye on it, that they are not concerned, um, but it is very much something that they are going to be looking at going forward in the coming days, weeks and maybe months. John, Western allies at this point assessing how Putin might reassert his authority and what this could also mean for the war in the Ukraine. What, what are the developments unfolding on that front? Yeah, I think it's interesting, isn't it, that uh, we will see, we expect some sort of backlash from Vladimir Putin, cracking down on anyone who was seen as not being 100% loyal, anyone who was not seen as immediately condemning the actions of the uh, Wagner paramilitary group. So we would expect some of that to be happening in the coming days. In terms of the impact it's having on Ukraine, well, NATO, but also EU insiders off the record have been saying that actually what happened in Russia is perfect for Ukraine and their counter-offensive that they've been pushing on. Um, so that is something that people will be looking for in the coming days to wonder if Russian morale is suffering. John Beaver, thank you for that update. Uh, John Beaver is our correspondent in Helsinki, Finland, giving us the latest, of course, on the back of what transpired um, in Russia over the weekend. Monday, as we heard, have been declared a non-working day in Moscow, perhaps to allow uh, time for things to settle there in Russia. Some confusion over the weekend's extraordinary event, of course, having left uh, governments around the world uh, puzzled, seeking for answers at this point, perhaps also looking at um, Putin's next move. And what this also means for the war in the Ukraine. So we'll continue to monitor developments as it unfolds there.